Would you like to load your YouTube analytics data into Power BI? Me too. All right, so if you want to get your YouTube analytics data into Power BI uh, and you're watching this video, well, you probably already know that, that Power BI offers a number of pre-built connectors. So they're called content packs. And these content packs connect to many different services, um, such as Google Analytics and MailChimp and many, many others. Frankly, Power BI has done a great job, I think, of actually building out this, this inventory of, of connectors. However, there's not a connector at the time of this video's recording to YouTube. And uh, while that's a little bit of a disappointment, it's not terrible because, you know, a pre-built connector is going to have limitations anyway. And um, uh, at least for, for my company, Leapfrog BI, we, we really are interested in, in understanding the effectiveness of our YouTube channel. We use primarily an inbound marketing technique. So we really want to understand how much uh, return we're getting on the investment we're making in this type of, of video. So, um, so we decided that we're going to solve this problem. We're going to get our YouTube analytics data into Power BI. And that's what this little video series is going to be about. Now, I want to mention here right up front that this is not some highly produced set of videos. This is just me sitting here uh, with you talking about the, the way that, that I decided to solve this problem. I'm going to share any, um, any findings, any assets that I create along the way. Those will all be shared with you. So just check the description in this video and you'll, you'll uh, have everything that, um, that I discuss here. So this is not going to be a highly produced set of videos. If you're okay with that, please do continue to watch. Please do comment. Let me know what you think. Um, uh, of course, if you have other ideas for other types of, of videos like this, I'm always interested in that type of thing. So um, comment and uh, I'll do my best to reply. All right. So if we're going to get our YouTube data into Power BI, the first thing we got to do is figure out how to get our YouTube data out of YouTube. So to do that, we need to go do a little research on the YouTube APIs. All right, so YouTube has um, several different APIs available. I'm going to jump over here to this guides section and uh, scroll down here a little bit. There we go. So there's a YouTube data API. You can go read about it, but basically the data API, it allows you to do the things that you do in Creator Studio. You can upload a video, you can change a video's um, description, uh, just anything you do in Creator Studio, pretty much, you can do in the YouTube Data API. Well, that's, that's great, but it's not exactly what we're after here. The next API listed is the YouTube Analytics API. And obviously by the name, this is, this is the API that we're interested in using. Um, this is where we're going to be able to collect our YouTube analytics data so we can use them in some way outside of the YouTube analytics interface. Then there's the YouTube live stream API. We're not interested in that, so I'm not even going to talk about it. So let's take a look at the YouTube analytics API. I'm going to click on that. And, um, you should, by the way, go and do a little reading on these different APIs if you're, um, if you're following along with these videos or if you're trying to solve the same problem. The, uh, the Analytics API is really broken up into two different, different APIs. There's the Analytics and then there's the Reporting API. And again, I'm going to go over to the Guides section here to, um, to guide me through this. Scroll down here a little bit. So... So the analytics API, it's saying that it, it allows you to submit a targeted query and then get a response. So it's, it, it's just like any, any database. I'm going to submit a query and it's going to give me a response. So that seems like it's a possible um, solution to our problem. We could submit a query asking for a particular um, bit of data from our YouTube analytics on our channel and get that response back. Now the next API here is called the reporting API and this API, instead of actually submitting a, a, a query, there are a set of pre-built or you could say canned reports that we can request. So, um, this is actually the route that I decided to go. I'm going to go down the route of using the reporting API because it does seem after you, after looking at the available reports, it seems like it has the information that I'm interested in. So I don't really have much need at this point to go out and create, um, 
uh, targeted queries using the analytics API. Okay, so if we're going to use this reporting API, which is also called bulk reports, then uh, we need to learn a little bit more about that before we start writing some code. So I'm over here on the YouTube reporting API uh, bulk reports page, and I'm going to scroll down a bit and talk about a few different things that, um, again, are important to understand before we start talking about code. First of all, this API, again, is going to return canned reports, pre-built reports. And these reports are going to have in them dimensional attributes, and they're going to have metrics or measures. And that's actually very much in line with, with how I would like to get the data. How I ultimately, personally, I'm going to get the data into a dimensional model at some point. But um, uh, so having the data coming out of the source system with dimensions and measures just seems like a, a great thing to me. So that's the first thing we need to know. We're going to get a, a report that's going to have dimensions and measures in it. Now, the other thing to know about this API is that, again, it's going to give us files. We're going to get flat files as its output. And it's going to return one file per day per job. And a job just represents a particular report. So for each report that's available, this API is going to produce a flat file that covers a 24-hour period. And we're going to be able to download that, that file and then, of course, um, get it loaded into whatever data structure we're going to be using. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the steps that we need to go through to actually use this API. So the first thing that you probably already know is we need to be able to authenticate and get authorized to download this report. And to do that, we're going to be using our Google um, uh, this API, the Google Analytics API, uses the OAuth 2 standard. Now, I wasn't very familiar with OAuth 2, frankly, before I started this process, and it was a little bit of a learning curve for me. So I'm going to share what I learned when we get to the next video. We're talking about um, the actual um, development of the code. But um, it's important to understand that this API is using OAuth 2. And just briefly here, that means uh, that we're going to have the ability to access some resources uh, regardless if a user is logged on or not. So um, if that doesn't make sense to you right now, don't worry about it. We're going to talk about that more in the next video. So once we get authorized to, to download some data, then we need, to, um, we need to be able to retrieve a list of available reports. So that's what this next function is. It's, we're going to get authorized and we're going to say, what are the report types that we have available to us? Because the report types aren't always the same. They are not the same for every user. There's actually different types of users, and we'll talk a little bit about that. But you need to submit the request for the particular user that you are um, uh, authorized to access that user's channel so that you get the actual report list back that's relevant for you. So we need to get a report list back. Then once we have that report list, we need to create a job, a reporting job. So it's saying that now that we have this list of reports of whatever it is, let's say there's a dozen reports, of those dozen, how many do we actually want to um, use? How many do we want to have generate a file for us every day so that we can download that file and get it integrated into our data structure? So that's, re that's creating a reporting job at that point. We're going to create a job telling the YouTube um, Analytics API to create this report for us so we can download it. Now, uh, you, can, you probably can see that this is not a synchronous process. We're not, we're not going to be submitting a request for information and then waiting for that re request to be fulfilled and then pulling the, the uh, data back all in, in one request. It's not going to work that way. We're going to create a job, and that job behind the scenes is going to be going out and creating these reports for us, and then later on we're going to be downloading those reports. So uh, when we go to download the reports, we need to know, well, what are the jobs that we had created? What jobs do we possibly have reports available for us for? Now, we could store those jobs locally somewhere if we can persist that information, or we can, at the time that we go to download the reports, we can say, well, what jobs do we have available? And then we could just recurse through those different jobs. We can say, for job one, how many reports are available today? Great, let me download those reports for job two. Let's download those reports and so on. So we need to have the ability to get a list of jobs that we have created. 
And then number five, it says here that we download the, re the report. So um, we get the report download URL, and then we download the report. There's uh, Frank, that part of the process I was stuck on for, um, well, a week, maybe more. Um, and it, the solution or the, the little snafu was quite simple, but um, I overlooked it for, for a week. So I'm going to share what, what I did wrong and hopefully save you that pain. Um, all right, so that's it. At that point, we're downloading the report and we're ready to ingest it again into some data structure, which we're going to talk about. All right, so we, we've kind of set the um, stage here. We know we're get what our, what our um, ultimate goal is. We want to get our YouTube analytics data into Power BI so that we can use Power BI to, to understand the effectiveness of our YouTube channel. Maybe you want to integrate that with your CRM data. Maybe you want to integrate that with your Google Analytics data. Whatever it might be, it's important to have access to that data, and it's also important to be able to integrate it with other data sources. So with all of that said, um, in the next video, what we're going to do is we're going to begin building out an application that's going to use this API that we've just talked about and uh, get our reports downloaded. So I'll see you in the next video.